I thought that sex was just for married people and it was not something for people like me. But since I have been seeing sex workers, there's much, much more to it than just wanting to fuck someone. A form of togetherness. And it helps us kind of refocus on our relationship. It feels like we can uh, express how is it, our love for each other. I, I think it's it's a wonderful thing, and everyone has the right to experience it, no matter what disability you have, no matter how you look or appear to others. Everyone has the right to be to be loved and, and, and to feel and to feel the intimacy with someone else. For me, anything naked, it does not have to involve penetration, no matter how many times people tell you sex is what is penetration. Is penetration? It's not, it's anything naked. If you're lying naked to next to someone, whether that's hands or toys or penis in vagina, like it's just that's sex. <laughs> I love sex. You know, I remember when I when I when I first um, when I first got started, I was so nervous. You have no idea. Um, but I had a very special person in Northcourt. She walked me through the whole process, and, and she just calmed my nerves and you know made me relax and just just enjoy the experience for what it is. For me, it isn't just about sex. It's about connections. Personally, for me, it causes a lot of pain. I think both mental from PTSD, sexual trauma, and also just chronic pain. So, like, I can't even do anything penetra penetrative. Is that a word? Pe I think it is. I'm going to make it a word. I think it's anything. So, I, 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 like, I like the idea, and I'd love to do it, but at the moment it causes a lot of angst and a lot of pain, which I think most of my physical pain comes from the PTSD. <laughs> I do all the time. Um, I think it's important just even if you can't, if you, even if you don't have the opportunity to have sex at that moment, you still need to release how you feel. And I think ma masturbation is a good way to do that. Um, and also for me, um, because I have a lot of back pain, I feel that when I, when I do that, it releases some of the pain that I have because I'm more relaxed afterwards. So that, that's a big thing for me because I don't sleep that well. So when I do that, it helps me sleep as well, because I'm more relaxed. And, and it's, it's, fun, it's fun to do it right. Yes, when I, do, when I can masturbate and when I want to masturbate, I'll use a little vibrator, a little rabbit ear one that does like that little thingy. I like the fact that when I'm with a sick worker, all the shit in my life doesn't really matter and it feels so good just to be a woman with sexual desires and I like the fact that the sex worker knows what he needs to not be for him. My system is giving me so much more confidence within myself um, because it's, it's given me the opportunity to go after what I want. Like, don't get me wrong, before I did go after what I want, you know, I wasn't so direct about it, you know, I, I, you know, I was sort of, you know, move around, move around the topic, I'll be like, you know, uh, can I do it, you know, maybe, should I do it, you know, that, that was me. But now, if I want to do it, I just do it, there's no, there's no ifs or buts about it, you know. It helped me build relationships.
Other people say, oh, but it's only a sex worker. But they're not. They give you something that you may be missing from um, your everyday life. Talking says the waiting time is hell. Now I have been waiting one month and I still have been her back. Um, just not being able to do it when I wanted. Like, if 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 you had the urge at the moment, you know, and you know, or so if someone had the urge at the moment, they they could go find someone, and they do it. It doesn't work that way for me. I have to organise it. I have to I have to make sure everything ready. I have to give a support worker, and all that takes time. You know, so that's, that's the frustrating part, for me anyway. Finding the money to be able to see a sex worker. No. If you went up to a girl in a bar, so, you know, yes, you're attractive, blah, 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 but all they see is this, all they see is the wheelchair, and then they assume, oh, like, well, he doesn't want to do it, or maybe he, he can't do it, you know. And and that's why I've just decided it's it's just easier and just to see sex worker because they they don't assume anything. They take you on who you are. Because when, when in the initial contact of of, of of when you when you contact a sex worker, they don't see the bullshit. All they see is your text. You know, it's it's very different compared if you went if you went on a date uh, or if you went to a bar. You, you, you don't actually get to speak before they say the bullshit. They say the bullshit, and that's it. I can have sex, but not always when I feel like it. There are days where I'm like, I am really horny, and I would like to get some sex. But the pain and the PTSD comes in, and it's just like, you can't. It's like horrible voices and like a horrible thing, and it just shuts down. So I can begin to have intimacy or begin to masturbate and I'll get to maybe three or four minutes in and I'll start to have memories and flashbacks and I'll like literally throw my vibrator like across the room. Well, we haven't had any in the last four, four years, so, um, but before that, it used to be every two weeks. The carer has to undress us, which most of our carers are comfortable with that. And the next step would be getting us in the ho hoist, and then we get hooked up into a sling and the hoist gets hooked <laughs> up onto it and then once we're in position um, the carer would normally leave Live. whereas if we had a sex worker the sex worker Usually stays. I contact my sex worker, and I see when she's available, and then I have to get the money together. You know, you know how it goes. And 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 then once everything's organised, we organise a time and a place, and 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 then, and then it's not it's not always straight to the sex. We always usually go out on a date first, go out to eat, talk, get, you know, sit, catch up with each other, and then and and then we do and then we have sex. It takes me at least three months, and you know, to organise everything, to make sure all the money's together, and you know, just make sure what I want to do and all that stuff, and so it takes time. But in the meantime, I in the meantime, I, I masturbate, and, and so I'm I'm still releasing what what I feel. I, I have a specific support worker that I use because I trust him, and he's he's really good. And he helps you get to the place, and then we have our day. And we eat, blah, 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 all that stuff. And then afterwards, we'll go to the hotel. He would help me get undressed. And he would then hoist me onto the bed. And, he, and, then, and then he would leave the room for, for, 
however amount of time. And, and, then, and then she sits there with me by herself. I have to plan a few months in advance so I can save up. Thank you.